Well, hackers are accessing your personal information for a scary new reason, not to steal your identity or use your credit cards, but to hold your information ransom and extort you for money. It's called ransomware. Victims spend millions of dollars every year to get their information back, and experts say that number is grossly underreported. Nine in your sides, Christina Myers met with a computer solutions expert to find out what you can do if you're infected with ransomware and how to protect yourself from it happening in the first place. With one click of the mouse, your computer can be taken hostage. All of your files, pictures, important documents, personal information, inaccessible. A screen like this one pops up, letting you know what the hackers want. Money in exchange for your files back. It usually comes as a link or an attachment in an email, something seemingly harmless. It'll say, hey, here's the information on your FedEx shipment, or here's a maintenance request. And that's how one of our clients got it because the maintenance guy said the maintenance request, so he clicked on it. Keith Holland, IT manager at EC Group Technology Consultants, says the hackers don't know if you're expecting a package or if you handle maintenance requests, but they're taking a chance, a chance with pretty good odds. They're sending out a mass amount of emails and just taking the chance. And if they send out 10,000 and 10% click on it, it's a good return. Sometimes the email can appear to come from someone you know, like this one I got just the other day from a very close friend. It came from her correct email address, even has her phone number and her website listed. But before this red alert popped up, I already noticed that something was off because it was very formal for such a close friend. So before clicking on the invite link, I called her and it turns out her email had been hacked. There's a long list of file extensions the hackers use, some real and some made up. They can be hard to spot, so once they click, people are left with the choice, either lose their files or pay up. And the price hackers demand, up to thousands of dollars. And they get it in Bitcoin, an online payment that's virtually untraceable. Whether you pay or not, all depends on how badly you need those files. Their targeting seems to be schools, um, municipalities, um, people going after police, and hospitals because these people need their records and they're probably more apt to pay than they are to recover. The Pima County Superior Court was infected with ransomware in February and in the same month, a hospital in Los Angeles paid $17,000 to get its patient information unlocked. If you don't want to pay, you have to wipe your computer clean. So the best defense is backing up your files. But if you use a hard drive, make sure to unplug it from your computer because newer ransomware can encrypt that too. Christina Myers, KGA 9 on your side.